is my Randy Rhodes tribute. What, do you, what am I calling it? It's my Randy Rhodes all custom. Uh, I can't remember what the name I was. Yeah. But it is. It's the pickups are exactly like his. This is potted. This has been set up by the guy, the tech, that set his stuff up when he was in Quiet Riot. And I don't know if he did anything after that. I'm not sure. He might have done his guitars when they did the... I don't know. i got to ask him more about that. But he's like the same age as Randy. Uh, his name's Rich. I don't know if he wants me to give his name out. I mean, his last name, because he's, he's like the guitar tech for the stars. And I met him at his shop, this high-end guitar shop, and I was talking to him about this and this and this. And he's like, you sound like you got a lot of guitars. I'm like, yeah, I do. And he's like, blah, blah, blah. So that's how we met. He's a nice guy. So, anyways, the album, the stuff that I want to get done, well, it's going to get done have all the songs done there's two songs I want to put on it I wrote them in 19 one I started writing in 1984 it was a love song for my first wife and uh, then it turned into just I don't know you tell me the second song is also about her but I told my current girlfriend it was about her. She goes, it doesn't make sense. It sounds like we've been broke up for a long time. I go, well, this is like, you know, just in case. So, I mean, if we ever do break up, this is how I feel about, you know, a load of crap. Actually, two girls heard this song, and I said, yeah, of course it's about you. She goes, well, I think the other one, this one girl, so she took the tape and she started to undo it and she ruined three of the songs. She's an idiot. This is a demo, a, a, a friggin', you know, studio demo. Not a, you know, it's like a 16 track or, no, no, it wasn't even that. It was an 8 track that we set up at, at Audible. So this is what, so we came up with these, I came up with these two songs. I'm like, there's these two songs I worked on a long time ago. I want to finish them now. So we got, this is the one I wrote. Half of it in 83 and or 84 and the other half in 88. And this is called Hold On. Hold On. So when I'm, you sing Hold On. there. Hold on to the Z chords. Ready? So this is the whole sappy song. This is about my first wife, the good one. The second one, I wrote a song about her too. It's called The, the Deceiver. <laughs> All right. See if we can get a semi-clean tone without sounding too bad. adjusted it's massively straight <laughs> oh my gosh it's completely straight you never want a completely straight well how did that I haven't played it in a long time son of a bisque okay well I'll, I'll dick through the first part because I want to get this down and I don't want to switch guitars now
not starting over. You know you're in trouble when that happens. I gotta get a friggin' neck. Oh! So, okay, then it's that part, and then. I can't believe how screwed up the neck is. 
should have just used the Epiphone. If you get an old 70s pickup, you know, basically a PAF, and uh, just pot it, these things are badass sounding. I know everybody thinks, what is it? It's me, 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 me. I fuck off. Oops. This is exactly what it looks like a replica of Randy Rhodes, and it's not Chinese, I promise you, it's Japanese. Okay, and it's a Gibson guitar. Japanese. Think. 70s. Think. Do your research. Dude, I picked this up for an amazing price. And the other one that I got that I put the polka dots on because I didn't think I was ever going to play it. And then the guy completely redid the neck. And I'm like, whoa, should I have two? Because this is bitching when the neck is not screwed up. All right. I should tell you a story. Okay. One time I was down in Hollywood, and I'm walking down the street, and uh, I don't think now that I set it up, I don't have it. Oh, okay. So I'm walking down from the rainbow to the whiskey, because that's what you do. Kind of like, okay, what's going on? Go down the whiskey, anything, come back. Going down, and I ran in. It was with my, it was with the cycle girl. And, uh, she <laughs> was with me, and she was, and I was, and we just got out of, the, you know, got, when we got to the rainbow, we were drunk. Now we were loaded. So we're walking down to the whiskey because every club would let me in. I'd play there so many times. Just yeah, go in. So we went down to check out the whiskey. We actually saw Jane's Addiction once, and uh, well, Jane's Addiction. That's what I saw with her because she really liked them, and I'm like, well, I don't know what I'm even seeing. But uh, so we're walking, and this girl comes up to me and hugs me. She goes, oh, Michael, how have you been? I haven't seen you in a long time. I got the pie next to me, the psycho one. So she's got a Budweiser. Budweiser? Oh, that was at another club. Same girl, too. So, no, she just had a cup that she took out from the whiskey with beer. She threw it at the girl's face, jumped on her, Beat the hell out of her, ripped her flannel off. The girl's wearing a flannel, and left her there. Just beat her, and she's like, "Let's go." And I'm like, "What the?" And so we went back to the my truck, and we got the hell out of there. So there's another. It's got not not a lot of rock and roll to it, but then a few months later, same girl, and this is a girl I dated. That's why she was not happy, or I had. I was. We were friends of a benefit thing. And she did a lot for Fatal Attraction, I think. Yes. Actually, I think she was the drummer's girlfriend, and the first drummer, not the gay drummer. And, uh, 
I accidentally started sleeping with her. I didn't know. You know, hey, gotta make this known to other people what's going on. So we're playing at a club down down that way by uh, Downey or, or San Gabriel. I don't know, San Gabriel, somewhere down there. And we're playing with uh, the guy from the Mentors, uh, El Duce. So he's uh, he's dressed up like a little devil, and uh, we're just playing. We're playing. He's playing, or he played, and then we headlined because we were. But I don't think it's El Duce, man. So of course my girlfriend is like. Uh, she was into punk and stuff so we're sitting there and I'm like okay don't do anything stupid if you get kicked out I don't know what you're gonna do so this same girl walks in and I'm like oh no and I, I knew she saw her and this time she had a bottle of Budweiser and it was oh, pretty full it was almost full she took one drink and then she's sitting there and she goes okay I'll be cool then the girlfriend comes she sees me and then and then she sees pie sitting next to me and I'm like oh please don't do it. I go don't do anything she goes what to that girl throws the bottle BAM right in the back of her head Psh! breaks she's bleeding I'm like oh ah. we haven't even played yet we don't even go on for like 45 minutes so I'm like all right you did this to yourself and you know bouncers come and like what the hell did you do that for we gotta call the ambulance and i went down to check and she goes you better not go into i'm like oh shut up so uh yeah she almost knocked her out again by throwing a bottle at the back of her head that's how crazy so the whole band was afraid of her deathly afraid because she was crazy she was she used to be hot. I don't know what she looks like now. Probably a mess, but... Woo! So, yeah, she got thrown out. And after the show, I didn't know where she went. So I went with somebody else. But, yeah, that was a great show with El Duce. He was cool. He loved us. You know, he, I love the vampire thing, man. That's freaking far out. da 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 da, -da. And that night, my uh, guitar player played the Star. He wanted to try to buy that Star guitar off me. I'm like, uh -uh, you already own my amp, not the Star. And he sold the amp back to me with my white marshal. So. There's your story. Now, here's the other song that, I, that we wrote, 1988. And I've been trying to think of it. And when this one finally popped into my head the other night, last night, this one did too kind of so let's see trouble is is I need that first string <laughs> Finger picking is the same thing. Let's see if I can remember.